to better understand uh, your decision not to recuse yourself from the supervision of the special counsel's investigation. Isn't it a fact, sir, that you received your final ethics guidance on this matter on December 19, 2018? I appreciate this question, and I'm glad this is the uh, did, you read that right? what you said. did you receive your final guidance on that question? As you know, we have been eating his ass. Eating Black History Monday. Went through uh, <laughs> to address any recusal questions that I might have, and I had no conflict of interest. I had to make the answer. I understand you take that position, but my simple question is isn't it a fact that you received your final ethics guidance on that question on December 19, 2018? Congressman, we laid out very explicitly the process that we went through and ultimately the decision whether or not to recuse. I'm happy to walk through the step-by-step -step advice Man, that I received. His glasses I on. That there were four individuals who you consulted who advised you that you had the ability to not recuse yourself from this investigation. Isn't that correct? Congressman, the regulations actually say four right. individuals advised you that you did not have to reach. Right, he, he took him back off. He's, is he going to grab the water? It was my decision to make, sir, and I made the decision. Your obstruction and refusal to answer. I'm not obstructing anything. I'm answering your question. Well, you, uh, I consulted with a lot of people regarding my recusal, but it's well, you're not telling me who it was. Somebody was big mad at him. I consulted with name, name me some names. I consulted with my name some names, damn it. Name it. With the Office of Legal Counsel. Name me some names, sir. Well, one person would be the Assistant Attorney General for the Office of Legal Counsel. Name. Steve Service. I have literally hundreds of friends at the door. That water. I told you he's going to drink that water. Uh, it's component uh, agencies. I told you he's going to drink that water. Nigga done drunk a whole bottle of water, man. All right. Uh, respect for him. So I appreciate and your statement. And they put black folks back on the day. It's tight. Uh, their good work. And they're all white men having tight hands. That nigga was hot. Hearing is typically uh, where it should take place. The Attorney General uh, would give an accounting of the work of 115,000 uh, men and women in the Justice Department and provide some idea of the vision with respect to the department's uh, priorities. Priorities like uh, drug and human trafficking, uh, preventing terrorism. Uh, reducing gun and gang violence. Now, uh, earlier this week, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle uh, indicated that they had a great desire to reduce gun violence in this country. In fact, we had an eight-hour hearing with... What's up, everybody? The homie told me to come down to the stereo side and check them out. So, yeah, I am. About to check out one of the homies' cities to save free for the And then it's a, it's a whole box in there. Here we go. We're checking them out. Yeah, he flexing back there. He flexing. Check him out, man. That boy back there flexing. The boy flexing back there, man. Hard to see him. That's the point right there. Yeah.
Poppin', Jerry Poppin', ain't no stopping DJ Rusticles. <laughs> Country, man. What's up, Doug? What's up, big boy? What's up, Benny? Huh? What's up, man? Huh? Yeah. He only four months old. Well, no. Correction. He's six months old. <clears throat> Out here at the country house. I'm saying got the, got the candles popping, finna get it back open and get them cleaned up real good. 